Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. So today I want to talk about Saudi Arabia. Now, Saudi Arabia is obviously been in the headlines quite a lot. Currently, there's there's rumors, there's talks of a huge bid from one of the clubs in Saudi Arabia for for superstar Kylian Mbappe, and a lot of other stars have followed, uh, which pretty much looks like Mbappe will be going to Saudi Arabia. But a lot of big stars, Cristiano Ronaldo, Ingolo Kante, there's a lot of stars that have moved to to Saudi Arabia. Um, and something I get asked on a regular basis, is Saudi Arabia a good location or is it a good market to go to to start a football training business? Right. So if you are in soccer, if you're in football, a lot of coaches ask me, is Saudi Arabia a good option for me? Okay. Now, to, I do a lot of research every single day. I sit in my office at least one, one hour two hours per day and I do a little bit of research on different markets around the world. Now in terms of working with coaches and helping them with their, their, their training businesses, we work predominantly with the US and UK market but there are coaches that I've worked with which are in Australia, in Canada um, and in other parts of the world. Now Saudi Arabia is a nation which is up and coming in the world of soccer. Now there's going to be a lot of investment going into football specifically in the next 10 years. Right now that's going to bring a lot of opportunities for trainers who maybe want to go international or maybe want to try a different market and with the growth in that country of female spectators uh, investment in grassroots uh, teams and coaches and talent and also with with the World Cup being held well being hosted in that region it wasn't specifically in Saudi Arabia it was in Qatar but in that region right Saudi Arabia have seen that football has a lot of potential to grow and to create more opportunities in the country so as you start to see a lot of these superstars move into the Saudi Pro League, that is obviously going to, we, we I believe, have an effect on the grassroots level and the youth training industry. Okay? Because as more and more superstars come into the, into the, the, the Saudi Pro League, the, the sport in general starts to get a lot more eyeballs on it. And what tends to happen is when there's more attention on a specific team or a specific league that drives a lot more interest from youth players to go and play uh, football or soccer so as a result more kids want to then move into the team sport into 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 playing for teams in that sport which means they're going to additionally look for supplemental training so if you are a coach you might be thinking do you know what you know, I might want to go out to Saudi Arabia, start my own one-to-one -one training business or, or, tr or do small groups, do, do a camp or a clinic. Okay. What I would advise you is obviously speak to someone that is already based out there, get an insight into, you know, the situation, what, what kind of paperwork you need in order to live and work in, in Saudi Arabia, what, you need in order to set up a business right so get more professional legal help on that side of of the business now in terms of the coaching and training something i would recommend is go out there and do a little bit of research right do research on what the grassroots uh, setup is like what is the youth tr uh, industry like how many teams are out there are there leagues uh, is private training growing but what I can say is when there's a lot of investment into the sport, the chances are parents out there are going to look to invest into a private trainer for their kids. Okay, One thing is 
if you are very experienced, if you have a huge following, right, on social media, if you have a respectable business, right, a market like Saudi Arabia is going to be very good for you because, right, it's an up and coming market. And something I've realized with in certain markets, they love foreign coaches and trainers. So foreign coaches that come from countries that, you know, football or soccer is the number one sport coming into Saudi Arabia and training their kids. Parents will pay a lot of money for that. Right. I know a lot of coaches that have gone to set training businesses up in Dubai. OK. And they've done really well. It's obviously a very expensive country. Uh, Dubai. Well, Dubai is a city. Well, the UAE is a very expensive country to, to go and start up a business. But if you set it up legally, if you set it up correctly, right, it can become profitable in the long term, right? And Saudi Arabia is another market which is very up and coming. Uh, a lot of clubs now, professional clubs, are seeing what, what the Saudis are doing, how all these big, huge names are coming into the country, and how... The, the, the game is growing within that market. So you as a trainer, this could be something that you go out there, you, you go and do your research, you look at the market, you see what opportunities are there, and you can potentially start up a training business in Saudi Arabia working with youth players. Okay, Because as I mentioned, when there's superstars at the top, typically what happens is kids then get really excited, they want to start to play football, as they start to play football, they move into teams. And as they move into teams, parents see, do you know what? My kid needs more help. And when parents want more help, they'll look for private trainers. So if you can get out there, build connections with local clubs, local teams, go out there and give a hand into that, those communities, perhaps then that can create opportunities for you to build a business around Okay, working with the different teams, different clubs in that market, right? But what I would recommend, speak to someone that knows a lot more and that can guide you and help you on the legal aspect on how to set up a business in Saudi Arabia, uh, what taxes, if there's any taxes that you need to pay to set up the business, uh, do you need a visa to work there, etc. right? So this video was intended to give you a little bit of an insight because I know Saudi Arabia at the moment, it's... It's a market that is hitting the headlines because all these major superstars in our sport are heading out there. But a lot of coaches are thinking, right, does that mean there's opportunities in, in the private training industry for me to maybe go out there and potentially start up a training business? And the answer is yes, there is opportunities. Just like I mentioned, I know a lot of coaches that have gone out to, to places like Dubai, which is not too far from Saudi Arabia similar kind of type of market right and they've done very well okay it's again it's very expensive it does take a lot of time the legal side to, to sell the business but once you get it up and running okay it can be very profitable and it can be really good in the long term okay so if you want more help with this i can give you some more guidance help if you're looking to maybe potentially move out there or you're thinking of maybe going into that region to either coach or to start up your training business uh, from scratch okay so thank you for watching if you want to get more help from me visit the description below you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me through zoom or you can send me questions to make money coaching sports at gmail.com or you can connect with me via my whatsapp Hey, thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.